Let me know in the comments if you want me to round out my top five by adding a top 10 and giving you number six through 10. <laughs> What's going on everybody? It is your boy Al with the Heavy Hitter Bully Crew and we are back with another lit video for you guys. And first and foremost, before I even dive into the topic that we're going to cover in this video today, I want to say thank you to each and every single one of you who showed support on our previous video. I did a video talking about my personal favorite top five American bullies that are out right now and the love was just so immense and I'm just so appreciative and grateful of each every single one of you that really showed some love to our content. So with that being said, I dropped a discussion if you wanted to hear what the remainder of my top 10 would be. So we're gonna be covering in this video, number six through 10. So with that being said, please don't forget to like, comment, and sub to the channel. Check off the bell notification icon to become part of the family. And with that being said, let's get into the video. <laughs> Number 10 on my list, dual grand champion, both ABKC and BRC, Malakar of Amazon Heavyweight Bullies. When you see this though, look at the dome piece, look at the neck, look at the bone, look at the muscle definition, look at the thickness that this dog has, along with the confirmation and the full functionality that this dog has. He is simply a bad dude. I had the opportunity to see him early in the year, back in January, and he did not miss. He was as advertised, and he is just simply, the best way I could say it, an amazing specimen of the breed. This dog is literally a walking dog bodybuilder. Now, if you follow my platform, you know, previously a lot of people discussed with me that bullier traits cannot be done on a taller frame. Well, guess what, Malakara has it. Now, with that being said, the only reason that he is not higher on this list because he was simply just incredible in person is because of his tail. It is a noticeable fall that has kept him from winning multiple best of shows, best of breeds. I can almost guarantee you he did not have that tail issue that he would be arguably the top dog in the game right now. And for him to have won multiple best in shows, best of breeds with his tail issue, that just goes to show you how amazing this dog is. Follow the producers of Malakara. It's gonna be Santi Amazon. Follow him on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. It's gonna be at Santi B-U-L. So let's get into number nine. So number nine on my list, Blue Nose Tyrone. It's a bad dude. When you look at the muscle definition that this dog has, the bone, the traits, the neck, the compact back, the rear muscle, this dog is simply incredible. And I wanted to use both of his parents in my personal favorite top 10, but I also wanted to give other dogs the proper recognition that they deserve. So that is the only reason why his parents aren't on this list. He is off of Grand Champion Otis to Grand Champion Badu. And if you are not too familiar with Grand Champion Otis, he is a hell of a producer. And if you're not too familiar with Grand Champion Badu, she recently took a best of breed over Hangman at an ABKC show. And she is just simply a phenomenal specimen of the American Bully breed. I really love what they're doing over there with Blue Note Bullies. I love the look of their dogs. Now, with that being said, follow Molly folks on Facebook. That's gonna be her name. And at Instagram, it's gonna be at Molly underscore Blue Notes. With that being said, let's get into number eight. So, number eight on my list, Grand Champion King Kilo. Grand Champion King Kilo is a beautiful dog, a beautiful specimen of the American Bully breed. He is so well put together. When you look at the combination that this dog has, when you look at his breed type, he is simply incredible. And he is also one of the top dogs in the ABKC top dog rankings. And I cannot wait to see him go at it with Grand Champion Zeus and Grand Champion Hangman at the 2023 ABKC Nationals. Please don't forget to follow them. On Facebook, gonna be at Julian Grado. Now, on Instagram, they're gonna be at Triple Shot American Bullies. That being said, let's get into number seven. So, number seven on my list, ABKC Grand Champion, Big Apache of Doghouse Bullies. This dog is simply incredible. When you look at the headpiece that this boy has, 
good lord when you look at the phone he is simply incredible he is also one of the top dogs on the abkc rankings right now he is simply a beautiful specimen of the american bully breed please don't forget to follow doghouse bullies on instagram it's going to be at doghouse bullies and on facebook it's going to be at doghouse bullies as well so with that being said let's wrap up the video and let's get into number six so to round out my top 10 coming in at number six abkc grand champion sgb the great bambino bambino is a Oh, bad man when you look at the traits that he has the dome piece the neck and i feel like i say that about every dog but man the bone the confirmation the compact back this boy is simply incredible and he is also one of the top dogs on the abkc rankings and he also well i'm not too sure he should be at the 2023 abkc nationals and it is just gonna be a treat to see all of these dogs in the same building this dog, I want you to take a look at him compared to Grand Champion Bada Bing. Look at how amazing these dogs look. You see the traits that these dogs have. The purpose of this series is to give you all, especially if you're new into the community, an understanding of what breed type and confirmation looks like and to give you the true representation of the American Bully overall so we can break that stigma that comes with comparing the American Bully to the pit bull. <laughs> Before I get up on out of here, follow Jose Valenzuela on Facebook and follow him on Instagram at Death Row Bullies. He is the owner of Grand Champion Bambino. And with that being said, let's wrap up the video. Okay, everybody, so before I officially close out the video, I wanted to express how difficult it is to truly come up with a top 10 due to the specific fact that there are so many great examples of the American Bully breed out there. And I wanted to just take this moment to tell you all that if this was two years ago, the top 10 would have been completely different. The reason why you didn't see Grand Champion Zero, Grand Champion Blue, the previous national winners, Grand Champion Gunna, Grand Champion Waffle House, Napalm, Shots Fired, Dogs of that nature, shit, John Wayne, Bad Betty, just beautiful examples of the breed. The only reason why I did not address them in this video is specifically because I wanted to give other dogs the proper notice that they deserve. You get what I'm saying? So, with that being said, now we're gonna wrap up the video. And that bad boy's good. All right, everybody, that's going to wrap up the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and sub to the channel. Check off the bell notification icon to become part of the family. And with that being said, I hope that each and every single one of you truly enjoyed my personal top 10 American bullies. And the purpose of this type of content is to really broadcast to the world the true look of the American bully. We're trying to break the stigma that comes with the American Bully, right? Because they're always grouped into the pit bull stigma. And the thing is, I want you all to see what the American Bully breed is supposed to look like. And hopefully, thanks to the support of all of you, if you keep liking that video, commenting, we're able to let this grow and be able to reach new people so we can push this breed forward. So with that being said, Please don't forget, once again, to like, comment, and sub to the channel. Tell them, smash that sub button and become part of our family. Right, baby boy? From my son and I, I hope that each and every single one of you enjoy your day. Have a blessed one. We'll catch you on the next one. We're up and out of here.